We will now start with phase two. And we have our little friend here, our little teddy bear mascot in the laboratory, who will be our recipient of the energies and forces that we are going to be working with at this time. The primary point of entry in working with these crystals is the thymus gland. And to identify the thymus gland, you go from across the shoulders and you go down, normally the width of a hand down from the chest, except down here, you go two fingers, and it's just below the top of the shoulder blades, right here. To activate the thymus gland, it's quite common that you take a new thumb. You do this time a number of times, and if you feel tired, and you find the right position, you hear a hollow sound. And that is right over the thymus gland. Different tone, listen. Hear that? Here is the thymus gland. And it controls the immunological activity of the body. It is also the witness area of the body. So now, when one goes into the thymus gland with a crystal that has been charged, one goes in now counterclockwise. Watch my hands close slowly. Go in counterclockwise. And now I stop about one and a half to two inches away. And now I rotate slowly in a clockwise direction until I feel a resistance. I, at the same time that I do that, my hand is opposing the crystal that I'm holding with my right hand. If I'm left-handed, I work with the left hand and feel with the right. If I'm right, I work with the right hand and feel with the left. Now, there are two important functions. One, I want to find the correct spacing between the physical body and the subtle or etheric body. I want to be in the etheric body not into the etheric double, which is about a half inch off here, but into the pure energy body. We are here. My other hand opposes. Now I scan in a up and down and transverse direction until I find that point of resistance which defines the subtle body and especially the energy emanating from the thymus gland. I hold this crystal steady and I rotate this hand until I can come to the maximum point of resistance. When I do that, I feel a pulsing vibration in the left hand. When a charge flow takes place, the crystal pulsates in exact rhythm to what I experience in my left hand. This may take a few seconds, or it may take minutes, but you must be patient in holding the crystal steady and waiting for the person to acknowledge that they feel an energy flow going into their body. There is no control of your breath or theirs. It is purely establishing a energetic link between yourself and the body of the person and my other hand. And once that energy flows, I then start breathing. Please note this, that 
when you go into the body of a person and link, you take one breath and slowly release the breath until you come to the half breath. And now hold your breath. And if the person cannot make within that breath a linkage, you relax, let it out through the mouth, breathe through the nostril again, come down and establish this link. And it's in the holding of breath that this charge builds up and links to the person. When you feel a charge motion and the person acknowledges, you then do the synchronization with the person's breath. You tell them the person to breathe in, and you start this up and down motion and breathe out. For each breath, you tell them you breathe an exact synchronization to their breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, as you are doing this, you're breathing in and out with the patient. You are thinking the thought of well-being, love, peace be to you. And when I'm ready for the next phase, I usually say the word, peace be to you. May your mind, heart, and spirit become one. Then, as their body begins to sway and link and lock to these vibrations, you go into the next phase, the linking phase, where you're starting to rotate in a right-handed spiral. This acts like an energetic corkscrew. You notice both hands are synchronizing. You tell the person to breathe in now as you're doing this, and Go with their mind and heart to the area in their body that needs to be treated. And visualize the root, the cause, the source of the discomfort they're feeling in that area. Notice the rate of motion I am doing it is slow, steady, and constant. You tell them then to let the breath out, draw the breath in. Now I increase the tempo of my own voice and intention. Go to the source of what they are troubled with, focus on it, the rate is increasing, and release. This hand closes and releases. This hand takes the charge up and snaps it. Please don't drop the crystal. It's in that simultaneous act of voice, intention, pulling with my left hand, snapping with the right hand, that you break up a pattern that is locked into the bone, the tissue, the psyche of an individual. So you shatter the pattern of the past. And normally I do it three times. I go in again, breathe in, release, and breathe in again, close my hand and release. That usually clears this entire area. Then I start the closing and healing process. Breathe in, see the clear light, and think well of yourself. Breathe in again, and become at one with your body, 
your mind and your spirit. God be with you. And just keep this up until you feel the body totally relax. Now, if there is a major disturbance in other parts of the body, you start this process. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You're linking all of the chakras, energy bodies, linking it into a large ovoid egg. You do this two or three times and you come back to the thymus and you slow down and you place the crystal here and bring the hand in contact. First time you contact the body. And now, with the hands on the back, you palpitate the tissue and you feel normally when this treatment has worked tissue is very soft and lacks the vitality. So you just breathe slowly back and forth, thinking well of the person, then touch the tissue as soon as the tonality of the tissue comes back. Draw your breath in, hold and release, and the job is done. Most important, I think, for the totality of the treatment it's a final expression of love, and that is to give to that person a hug. Give them a big hug this way and say, you're a wonderful person, and I give you my love, as I do now to each one of you. Peace be to all of you.